Good evening. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Hugo. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Claudia. How are you? Hello, teacher. How, How are, are you? you? Good, and you? Fine, fine. Thank you. Okay. How was your day? Hi. How was your Tuesday, guys? Tell me about your Tuesday. What did you do? <clears throat> Hmm? How was your Tuesday? What did you do? Well, teacher, I had a meeting today in the morning and a busy day in afternoon. How was your event? Tell me about your event. Uh, remember that you were you were going to organize an ah, event. Yes. How was it? Um, well, it was, uh, uh, was a uh, funny and, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a beautiful day. We had an orchestra. Orchestra? Okay. Orchestra and a group, musical group and huh? um, um, clowns. And well, it was very. Uh, we had a variety of options to nice. all the people. Um, um, football games. Um, I don't know many things, and mm -hmm. the principal thing, the food. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, everybody loves to play football for that. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh -huh. What Was there a, a prize or like a diploma or a trophy for the winner? Mm -hmm. mm, trophy. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, trophies. For okay. the winner. First, second, and third place. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Okay, nice. Sepa is, is a... a Federico Aliker, right? Yes, he's the president. Federico Aliker was my classmate at the American school. We are the same ah, age. Ah, really? Ah, we okay. are the same. He's 39 like me, I guess. He's about to turn 40 like me, I guess. <laughs> we were we, when I was small, we were we were classmates in in primary school at the American school. Ah, okay. Yeah. But he was very skinny, and now he's, you know, like me. He's like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Over the years. <laughs> yes, life, right? Life. Chocolates, too many life. chocolates. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> okay. Rosie, good evening. How are you? How was your day? <clears throat> I'm fine. Um, uh, I... Go, I to go work every day. Where All do you day. work, Rosie? I work in Techno Avance, mm -hmm. the technolo technology. Okay, with technology. Yes, with the technology. 
Okay. A mí me cuesta expresarme, teacher. Yo, yo entiendo bastante, pero ya cuando quiero hablar, me hago nudo. <laughs> that's the reason why we have this class, para que practiquen. Yeah, that's the idea, it's for you to practice. Y se les quite la pena. More like a conversation mm -hmm. class. Ya son intermedio. So the idea is que ya se empiecen a soltar un poquito más. Ok. Pero en esta clase ya no dan clases de repetir, así como anteriormente, o ya solo explicaciones, veo. Y ahí es donde yo me quedo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what happens, what happens is that every teacher is different. Like uh -huh. every teacher has a different methodology. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. But don't worry. Okay. Nelson, good evening. Eliezer, good evening. How are you? How was your Tuesday? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your day, Nelson? Mm, it's so tired. Very hard. Very hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, why very hard? It's Tuesday. Come on. Yeah, but the, the work is very stressful. Yeah, stressful. It's stressful. It is stressful. Mm -hmm. Make make report, uh, check inventory, uh, cost cost uh, product cost okay. costing product costing yes. product mm -hmm. where do you work Nelson huh? what where do you work uh, Pai laboratorio ah Bayer Pai Pai ah, 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 ah antes okay. sí ah trabajé trabajé en Bayer también oh okay I had a class uh, in Bayer. Now it's Bonima, I think, right? Bonimia and Bonima. Bonima. Uh -huh. Trabajé Bonima, uh -huh. ocho, eh, eight, eight years. Okay. I had a class there too, Ooh, long time ago. Okay. Pale are, it's a, it's a, it's related to uh, pharmacies and medicine. No. To drug stores and no. Pale? No, no. I am, I am industrial engineer. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Industrial industrial engineer. Industrial engineer. Okay. Engineer. Engineer. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So the more your career is very demanding because you have to do a lot of logistics. Planning and everything else, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay, thank you. Elias, how was your Tuesday? Tell me. Um, well, um, today is too busy. It's, it was busy. It's a busy today. Okay. Yeah. Why? What happened? Tell me about your Tuesday. What did you do? Uh, right now, I am a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. So, I am release the separation of uh, whatever art. For example, the Nike or Under Armour um, logo. All the marketing, so, all the marketing side of the company. Yes, we we print uh, the the shirt. You know? Oh, okay. For example, the suit of Nike. We are the the production for the the print, the screen print. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, interesting. I'm, yeah, very interesting, but it's... It's very so, stressful uh, because you have to be in Photoshop, you have to be an illustrator and all those programs, right? Yes, it's right. Yeah, okay. I understand. I totally understand. Okay, but that's really interesting to be a designer. You need to have a lot of patience and a lot of creativity, right? Yes, a lot of creativity. Okay, very good. Hugo, how was your Tuesday? Tell me. Excuse me, teacher. How was your Tuesday? Where do you work, Hugo? I work in Almacenes Vidri. Oh, okay. And how was your Tuesday? What do you do in Almacenes Vidri? Um, my work is, uh, excuse me, I am a salesperson. person. Okay. Uh, my day is a little tired. My day was? Okay, my day was very tiring. Okay. Yes. 
Eh, I am, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, tengo, I, I, have, I, have. I have, I have, I have, let's play, uh, other person, other people, uh, different product. Okay, to the new employees, like to the new, like you give training to the new guys who want to work in Midri. Uh, no, no. Or to people uh, like you. What you? You're yes. like in customer service. Ah, okay. Customer service yeah. with, like, if I go to Vidri and then you, you're gonna tell me, oh, this is this is going to be good for your yard or for your bathroom or for your living room and so on, right? Okay. Ah, okay. So it's customer service. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yesenia, how was your Tuesday? Hi. Hello. Um, how was your Tuesday? Hi. Uh, how was I'm very tired. Tired? Very tired because I realized um, creo mucha actividad, demasiado. Many activities. Many activities. Okay. Besides okay. daily, daily, daily routine, bro. daily routine. Sometimes you have daily routines and daily routine. yes, what happens routine. is, and, and then that's where you have to change your daily routines to do something different, right? Try to have a different, instead of having lunch at 12, try to have lunch at a different hour or try to have your breaks at a different hour. Try to change your routine and maybe that way you feel less stressed by the end of the day. It could help out. Maybe, I don't know, just giving you And the idea. coffee station, I mean, coffee yes, station. Yes, you need a coffee station <laughs> and a lot of pastry, a lot of semita mieluda, a lot of yes. pizzas, a lot of eh, a honradas, lot of <laughs> a lot of honradas. Yes. Yeah, you need to have a, a pastry station. Very good. Okay, very good. Thank you. Blanca, hello. Good evening. How was your Tuesday? Hi. In total. Uh, good evening. Today, I'm very tired. Really? Yes. And um, and sick. And sick. And sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? Today I had a topic planned, but it was very difficult. Not difficult, but stressful for you. And I want you to have fun today. Okay. And I want you to practice your speaking. So. I have a couple of questions that you're gonna be answering to me, okay? And it's more like critical thinking to check on how you're using your tenses, your present perfect, your past, your future, whether it's going to or will, okay? And the first question is, so everybody has to answer. So all of you have to say something, okay? And take turns. My first question is, imagine, the Avengers, remember the movie, The Avengers Endgame? Do you remember that movie? When 50% of the population disappears? Do you remember that one, the last one? Indiana Jones? No, Avengers. The last movie of The Avengers, 50% of the population disappears. So imagine you are going to disappear tonight. Okay, no, tomorrow, at the same time, at 9.13 tomorrow, you guys will disappear, but nobody else will know about it, just you. Now, you already know that you're going to disappear. You're not gonna die, okay? No no killing my, my question, no, no dying. You're just going to disappear. The Avengers will save you, okay? Don't worry, Captain America and the rest are going to save you, okay? Thor and all of them are gonna come and save you. Now, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. And Spider Man and Batman and Spider -Man. all the DC oh, comics and all Black all of Widow. Them. The Black oh, Widow, all of them are going to save you. Now, you have 24 hours from right now till 9 14 tomorrow to do as you wish. What, how are you going to spend your last 24 hours before disappearing? Tell me. What are you going to do before disappearing? Tell me. Mm -hmm. 
Give me answers, give me answers. I'm going to the to the beach to okay. pass um, a day relaxing. Uh, a relaxing day? Yeah, and sunny day. And um, a, with myself. <laughs> okay, with yourself. Okay, nice, interesting, okay. Anybody else? What are you guys going to do? Rosie, Blanca, Elisa, Hugo, Aldo? What are you guys going to do? 24 hours only. Uh, me, I will go to um, mountain. To the mountain? Oh, mountain. Okay. Uh -huh. And spend all day there. What? And you're going to spend your 24 hours at the mountain. Yes. Okay. Very good. Anybody else? Nelson, what are you going to do? 24 hours before? I'm go, I going to go beach. I'm going, I'm to, going go to, to go to the beach. I'm going to go to Uh-huh. I'm going okay. to go Guija. Uh-huh. Uh, to visit many places at the same time. Uh, visit? You're going to visit many places at the same time. To, uh, every day, totally, every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. Every day. Today. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Thank you. My next question, but I'm going to share my screen so you can read them. Um, my next question. This is topic is called 40 questions people, everyone is afraid to ask. Imagine that type of topic. 40 questions everyone is afraid to ask. The first one. Which is what we just asked. If today was the last day of your life, would you want to do what you're about to do today? It's pretty much, but I would put it in want? different words. I place it in different words with the vendors and everything. So don't worry about that one. Okay, <laughs> next question. What worries you most about the future? What worries you? I will go New York. Mm -hmm. Okay, but in and this question, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Rosie. But in this question is, ¿Qué les preocupa acerca del futuro? Uh -uh. ¿Qué les preocupa más sobre el futuro? What worries you most about the future? Okay. What worries you, Rosie? My phone uh, my family hey 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 my if family hey if p no money uh-huh money hey, if p money no money okay. my health my money mm -hmm. health very good health money mm-hmm has my economy. climatic change teacher. my what i'm sorry my economy my economy very good okay to be stable be uh -huh. to have a good became economy. all <laughs> okay say that again became old ah to turn old okay to become to old. old yes it worries me too <laughs> This morning I have I have Chromecast and I'm gonna share this this example with you now that you say that turning old. I am I am almost 40 and every time I want to, to get glasses, they say I don't need them because my eyes are good. But this morning I was trying to connect my I have a Chromecast, you know, the one that you plug in the TV to connect from your phone, right? And I wanted to project mm -hmm. something on Netflix. 
but it was asking me for a pin number and the pin was in one of the corners of the TV, it was four digits, but this, the numbers were very small. And I felt that I put my eyes together here. When I was reading it, I was doing, you know, I was putting a lot of effort <laughs> and I felt really bad. I really wanted to cry because I said, oh my God, I'm turning old. And I maybe now I need glasses. Before I wanted to, I was like, please, tell me that I need glasses and the and the guy would say no you don't need glasses you're okay and now that I I'm feeling that my eyes are not the same like before I get worried and it's true you get worried about your health about your sight about your economy your family your kids right so it's it's true you do worry about that okay next question let me see I like this one. What is the difference between living and existing? Hmm. For you, what is the difference between living and existing? Hmm. Um. Existing is the, it's have a hub and the living is the living is enjoying Working the life. Only. Living is enjoying life, okay? And existing? <laughs> to, like be a like a <laughs> to be like a zombie. To be like a zombie. Okay? <laughs> so it's like living your life with no purpose. That is just existing, right? And living, yes. and living fully living your life fully, like doing the things that you want to do, learning new things every day. Um, so all the experiences that you have every day, that is living. And existing is just being there without not doing anything. Because I have a purpose. Of... When you have things, yeah. So tell me, what are your purposes? Do you have any near future purposes, things that you want to accomplish in the near future? Yes. Yeah. I want to learn more languages, yes. Mandarin, French, Italian, <laughs> as many as I can. What about you? What are your purposes or your wishes? I would like Italian. to learn Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese. First, first, first English, perfect. Perfectionate, my English, very good. Perfectionate, your English. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh -huh. Very good, very good. Now, <laughs> next question. If we learn from our, our mistakes, why are we always afraid to make mistakes? we're always making mistakes why are we so afraid i know i don't want to make a mistake why are we why do we always get scared if we always make them because sometimes the consequences are very hard to uh, and is difficult to to continue the life okay very good interesting uh-huh it's very difficult it's, it's, to continue because of the consequences. Uh, we are afraid to make uh, or feel frustrated. Feel frustrated? Okay. Uh huh. Very good. Anybody else? Yeah, because some of them are very painful. Because some mistakes are dangerous? No, painful. Oh, very good. Painful. Okay, painful mistakes. Uh huh. Is is for the the same afraid for the, uh, fail again. We're always scared of failing again. Okay. Hurt uh, someone we, we want. Can, Very good. Hurt because maybe we can hurt we can someone we money. want. Because we can lose money. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Because one consequence will be um, lost my work. Because you can even lose your job over a mistake. Uh-huh. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
interesting answers. Next one. Wait. Think of an impact you want to live to the world, but more to the world, maybe to the people that are around you, I would say. What is the impact you want to leave to people that are around you? Do you want to inspire something to people around you? Do impact you want to leave on mm -hmm. What impact do you want to leave? That's a impact is the lead. I'm a hard worker. I am fighting for to complete my dreams. Okay. Impact impact to pollution. What what the question is trying to say is like when people okay imagine imagine you're not you're no longer in this world. Ah, uh, on the world, on the world. You're no longer in the world, and people. How do you want people to remember you? Oh, you know, Jesenia was a loyal person. She was like always giving people, a, you know. So how do you want people to remember you? Like what impact do you want to leave to that people? Like for that people to remember you? How do you want people to remember you when you're gone? Mm, maybe I, I, I want that everyone remember me as a loyal person that always be there for them and never settle up. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. I wish make something that help uh, to the environment or, or make a program that help to the people to to solve solve mm -hmm. any problem. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. Anybody else? Like you wanna be inspiration for others saying, wow, you know, she was very humble. Wow, she was you know, always a very positive, never gave up, helping the environment, like you're saying, helping the environment. More awareness for all social classes. Exactly, very good, thank you. Uh -huh. Social awareness. Mm -hmm. Be the change you want to see in the world, right? Like, Gandhi. This one, life is too short to tolerate what? Other person. Second okay. time. Old. People. Other people. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? People? Life is too short to tolerate? Contamination or pollution? Very good. <clears throat> uh -huh. The bad. Toxic person. Evil. Se dice maldad. The, 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 the delinquency. Delinquency. Evilness. Maldad. Hmm? The poor. Poor. Poor? Yes, the pobreza. Poor. Ah, poverty. 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 How, do, how do you say tristeza? Sadness. Sadness. Mm -hmm. Sadness, poverty, pollution, um, discrimination, discrimination, very good. Mm -hmm. Unhappy, unhappiness, yes, mm -hmm. very good. Life, say that again. <laughs> I didn't listen to that one. Okay. How do you know 
when it whether it's time to continue holding on or time to let go. For example, that thing that is holding you back of doing something. When do you know it's time to let go and or when do you know it's time to continue holding? It could be, for example, your jobs or it could be um, a dream you have. It could be a situational event. So how do you know whether it's time to continue holding on or just to let go? When you feel sadness. When you feel sadness, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Hey, do you, hey, what do you say, crepúsculo? When you feel uncomfortable. When you feel uncomfortable. Crepúsculo, it's a... Um, it's it the, the dawn, dusk, dusk and dawn? Dusk and dawn. Lo del amanecer y el anochecer. Is yes. that what you're talking about? Okay. Dusk and dawn. Dusk and dawn. I'm going to write it. Dawn? I don't remember which one's which right now. Dawn, dawn. and dusk. Let me show and you. Really dawn and dusk. From dawn to dusk. Yes. When your dawn, body has dawn, 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 dusk. Dawn and dusk. This is dawn and dusk. This one. I'm gonna say yes. Morning. Teacher. Morning. Teacher, which is the the, the different uh, from the sunrise? Oh, that's a very good. And there's another one, sunrise. Yes. Sunrise is just the action of the sun rising up. And sunset is the action of the sun going down. Okay. But the entire moment or the context of the moment yes. is dawn and dusk because it's a longer period of time. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dawn and dusk. Okay. Okay, very good. I'm gonna stop sharing right now. And um, I want you to make questions. Now, I'm going to make you guys go in groups and I want you to come up with your questions like the ones we were asking. But I'm gonna give you like right now, before I put you in groups, two minutes to look for questions that you're going to be asking your partner. For example, just to give you an example, um, it could be any type of question like, um, if, okay, so the Avengers rescue you and you came back to Earth, where would you like to be? What country, what place, what city, right? Random questions. The idea is for you to have spontaneous answers and be able to use all your tenses in an adequate way. What I'm trying to do is for you to contrast questions, for you to uh, transition from the past to the present and the future, or for you to know when you're talking about the past, if the question is focused on the future. So I want you to try to do questions that um, play around with the tenses. Past, present, and future, okay? So the idea is for you to practice the tenses because it's one of the most difficult topics to be able to master, okay? So I want you to come up with questions like the ones I was asking you guys, okay? They don't have to be so deep, like the ones that I was asking, they could be any other type of questions, okay? For example, how did you spend Christmas last year? Okay, or tell me about the best place you have ever visited in your life. In the future, if you were to win the lottery, what would you like to do with all that money? So the idea is for you to play around with past, present, and future questions, okay? So I'm gonna set groups and I'm gonna make groups of, I'm gonna make three groups of four or four groups of three. Okay. Okay. See you in a bit. Three groups of four.
That way you guys can ask and interact more. Ready, set, go. Accept. Please Let's accept the invitation. The that way you can join. Join your break rooms. Please accept. Hello. And begin. Yeah, you want. Okay. What are your goals in life? Nice what question. Are... <clears throat> what are your goals in life? You go. Goals, goals. 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 Oh. What are your goals in life? What are the things that you want to accomplish in life? What are your goals in life? I wish have a family. I wish have a good job. I wish to have a family. Remember, try to be specific whenever you answer the questions. For example, I wish to have two kids. I wish to have um, a house at the beach, for example. I wish to have an apartment. I wish to travel around the world or uh, something like that. Like, try to be specific okay. with your answers to make it more interesting and for everybody to, to actually know what, what are your goals. Okay. Uh, me, I work in a laboratory. And I study English. And... But maybe the question, Claudia, is ¿Cuáles son tus objetivos? In the ah. mm -hmm. What are your objectives or your goals mm -hmm. in life? Ah, no, es como que haces. No es como que haces en la vida. No, no, no. But that's fine. Don't worry. Pero ah. es como my goals are. Es lo que eso es lo que quiero alcanzar o lograr alcanzar. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Me. <coughs> And spend time with my family. Um, I work too. Claudia, what would you like to do on vacation? Vacation Semana Santa. Uh, and the vacation. Uh, I go activity the church. <laughs> and you, Nicolas? I'm going to repeat the question, please. Blanca, can you can you repeat me the question? Ah, okay. What would you like to do on vacation? Okay, I I wish um, visit my grandparents. I wish 
visit a new place in on, in the world and i wish um, i wish teacher how, how do you say vivir live i wish live the i wish to live the because it's direct uh -huh. Okay, I wish to live the Semana Santa uh, in the in the old activities. There's a difference between Semana Santa, which is a Holy Week, okay. and Easter. Do you know what's the difference? Holy Week from the religious side, Semana Santa, tal cual es, okay. A good Monday, good Tuesday, good Wednesday, good Thursday, good Friday, good Saturday, and good Sunday. Now, that is Semana Santa from the uh, religious side. But if it's just like Semana Santa, vacaciones, el conejito de Pascua, and all that, that is called Easter. So people that really do not take it from the religious side, they would say, oh, spring break, Easter vacations, etc. But people that actually go to church or like really celebrate Semana Santa, tal cual, you know, from the religious perspective, you would say, oh, Holy Week, okay? okay? That's why I wrote on the chat, Holy Week versus Easter. Holy Week. Uh -huh. Holy versus Easter. <laughs> Okay, another question. Um, Eliezer. Se fue. No lo veo. I'm here. Okay. What do you like to do when you return from the work? Work, perdón. Excuse me. I what would like, I would like to, to visit the the beach at night. No, no the break the break me more more money. Mm. But when when you have poco, what do you say poco? Fair fair. Money, um, you can um, credit. <laughs> inversion, huh? <laughs> Take a loan. I'm sorry. Take a loan. Credit, credit. No, no credit. Take a credit. Credit, credit. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, Take inversion, inversion money, money. Uh -huh. Invest your money. Inversion Invest. money. Uh, yeah. Reducir gastos, este. Reduce costs. Reduce, Reduce costs. costs. But it's difficult. It's a, it's a, uh, uh, high compromise. Difficult. Yes. Uh, Fisherman, fisherman. Fisherman, fisherman. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, finanzas, para no financieros. Morning, morning, <laughs> five, five module. Morning, five, five module. <laughs> five <Yeah>. module. <laughs> Educosal, uh, uh, Educosal. Educosal, fisherman. Fisherman so similar, fine. similar, 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 <laughs> similar uh, concept, similar concept. Similar concept. Okay. Mm, but sometimes it, it's necessary because um, we uh, we want to to preserve. <laughs> Porque a veces queremos okay. crecer, because it's necessary.
We want to rent. Rent, yes. re, es, um, rentabilidad es rentabilidad. Yeah, rentability. Mm -hmm. rentability. 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 Yes. Sorry. Which country you choose to live? Another country. Uh huh. Um, maybe United States. <laughs> what about which country okay. you would not like to live in? Not like to live. Ah, in. not for to live. Only for visit. Maybe Venezuela. I wouldn't like to live in Venezuela. Ah, right. Yes, but all <laughs> the situation, Venezuela. because of the situation. situations. Yeah, because the Venezuela places is or uh, yes, it's beautiful. But I wouldn't like to live there. In this or country. maybe, or maybe Alaska, like wherever it's really cold and you had to live in. <laughs> yes, I know. I imagine like. Mm -hmm. I rather sancudos. I rather sancudos than. <laughs> I will. I will not live in Egypt, for example. I hate Egypt. Going to the heat. Super hot and spicy food. Arabian yeah. countries. Uh -huh, like super hot countries. Okay. Yes. Uh. Or um, uh, countries with the restrictions of religions. <laughs> Right, yeah, there's a lot of countries that restrict, they have, you have to follow the, the, the rules by, yeah. That's true. Okay, any other questions? I think the, the good, good country for living maybe Costa Rica. Yeah. Yes, <clears throat> it's very good ranked. I was reading an article. Uh, Austria, no, I'm sorry, Sweden, Australia, Canada, uh, Costa Rica, and I remember which other one, were among the best countries, and the, because of they have cosmopolitan cities, to live mm -hmm. in, because good quality of life, and so many other things, uh-huh, I was reading that. Okay. Canada sound good. Canada. Yes, Canada. Okay. In Toronto. Uh, Toronto. Toronto. Or maybe yeah. Alberta. Alberta. <laughs> I, um, maybe Toronto. Toronto. Okay. Alberta is in is the most the septentrional, no? From the Alaska and the in the north. Okay. Uh, I seen Toronto because it's most famous. It's my, it's my but idea. But Canada has uh, many cities, uh, beautiful cities. Yes. A classic. <laughs> Another question, how will you change the, the world? How will you change the world? Repeat the question. Is how will you change the world? ¿Cómo tú cambiarás el mundo? ¿O cómo tú cambiarás el mundo? Pues te preguntaron, ¿no? For a change the world, I eliminating weapon. Mm. 
Ok, Blanca. Um, oh. I will change the word taking care of the environment. <laughs> yes. Another question. Another question, another question. <coughs> Sorry, Nicolás. Hay un ataque de tos. Okay. En uh, mí, um, ah, the question, uh, putting more. Okay, now I have a couple of questions before I let you go. My first question is, why are manholes round? Do you know what manholes are? Why are manholes round? Do you know what they are? No. No, teacher, no. Manholes. You know what this is? Cookies. Oh. Ah, I, I don't okay. know in Spanish. Yeah. I yeah. forgot the word in Spanish. Eh, alcantarilla. Yeah. Alcantarillado, alcantarilla. Yeah, alcantarilla, right? Manhole. So they're called manholes. Manholes. You know what manholes. they're round? Why are they round? You have any idea? for the, the free access. Is it very good because it actually gives access to one man and it has to be round because we're not playing, we're kind of like round, right? So it has to be round to give access to a person to go underneath the, the ground. So that's why they're called manholes and that's why they're round. Okay, did you know that? Next one, next question. Okay, so you're, imagine you were to receive an elephant. Okay, and you're going to receive an elephant, but you cannot give it away. You cannot sell it, you cannot give it away. What would you do with it? It's an elephant. I, will probably I don't know. Back. You cannot sell it. You cannot give it away. No lo donate regalar, it. Give it away. Hmm? You cannot I can donate, donate it. it. You, have, you have to keep it. You have okay. to keep it. Okay. So imagine this. Okay. Let's see. It, imagine it's a very I cute Dumbo, right? It's an elephant. Okay. So it's Dumbo. You're receiving a Dumbo elephant. Okay. So what are you going to do with Dumbo? If we're a Dumbo, I, I went will. to my work in in in, in it flying. In it. <laughs> yeah. If it was, if it was porque es an it, if it was uh -huh. Dumbo, if, if it, it was, was Dumbo, Dumbo, I would I I will go to my work <laughs> with him. I would go to my work flying. Okay, very good. <laughs> what about the rest? Uh huh. Talk to him. Imagine in your house. Think about the size of your house. Do you think? 
do you have the capacity to have an elephant in your house? No. <laughs> no. 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 Uh -huh. It's too expensive to food in. Yes, to give, imagine. What do elephants eat? What do they eat? I don't know, right? Uh, a a big quantity of fruit. fruit. Okay. Fruit. <laughs> fruit. Money. Fruit. Peanuts. One tonelada. One ton of peanuts. <laughs> One tonelada of fruit. Uh -huh. Nutella or peanut butter. Nut. <laughs> Nuts. It will be, a, it will eat better than me. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Imagine. Well, guys, you know, the idea with this exercise is, you know what? These are the type of questions that you are going to have whenever you go to interviews. Unexpect now, recruiters or companies are hiring their employees with the most bizarre questions or the most bizarre um how do you call this the most bizarre uh, situations there's actually one a uh, video that i wanted to show you but i'm going to show it to you tomorrow okay it's about okay, heineken how heineken recruits their employees in a very different way and style so the idea with this type of questions is for you to be ready for the unexpected so when people ask you something you're not just thinking okay let me go to my book page number three it's life is like that it's very spontaneous so the answers have to be naturally okay and think about think outside the box think about that people will talk about random topics and you should be able to speak about anything about Dumbo about countries in the world that you like that you dislike about not only about your jobs because I know that English for work is related only to jobs but guess what your clients are not going to always want to talk about the job they're gonna want to talk about anything else but the job so part of that is being able to communicate in english effectively but uh, talking about any type of topic right that's the idea for you to talk about a little bit of everything and never be scared of of, of answering okay or making mistakes when you answer okay guys thank you so much for connecting today i will see you tomorrow me recuerdan de ponerles ese video de heineken if not i'm like dory i'm going to forget okay I'm going to okay, forget to turn. So, okay, good night. Okay, Rest Bye, good and night. see you guys tomorrow, okay? Good, good night. night. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye, guys. Celia. <laughs> bye Aldo, bye Eliezer, bye Nicolás. Bye, I just bye, I just got one question. Yes. Uh, oh, you asked it, me something about climate, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because I saw that you put uh, dawn, dusk, sunrise, and sunset. Mm -hmm. But what about twilight? If I'm not mistaken, twilight, but I'm gonna look for it. Twilight is a combination of both. So from mm -hmm. this point to this point. And then dusk and dawn are just like moment separate moments, but I'm not sure if that's what it is in fact, hmm. but I can look it up. That's an okay. interesting one. Mm -hmm. I'll look it up and I'll tell you tomorrow, okay? Perfect, I'll appreciate. You're welcome. Bye guys, good night. Bye. Good night, good night everybody.